Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are excited for this video as much as I am because if you saw the thumbnail, we have some new scents to go over today and I kind of wanted to just make a whole holiday themed Bath & Body Works video. I want to go over what I have. Um, I do have a new body care collection to share with you and then I want to go over what's to come because this holiday is going to be insane with all the launches. There's a ton, a ton of new body care candles so i wanted to kind of share a few of the ones i am really excited about and share what's coming back so you guys can kind of be in the know of what to expect for this year's christmas scents at bath and body works apparently their whole first floor set is supposed to be all out by november 1st i know next week they're having a big floor set so you should be seeing a lot of these by then but let me go ahead and share a few clips i took in store today i wanted to share the candles that they have they did a little christmas preview so they brought back basically their classic holiday scents there wasn't anything really new at my store for candles so i actually didn't buy any candles in store I did place an online order though because it is buy two get two free and that's a pretty good sale for Bath & Body Works so I would definitely think about it if you're wanting to try the new candles especially placing an online order so that's what I did I ordered some new ones online so that is on the way to me but let me go ahead and share some goodies I found in store all right, so here is the Christmas candles that are in stores starting today. You can find these at your local stores to take a part of the buy two, get two free. They had spiced gingerbread. <laughs> Sorry, skip packs that pretty quickly. The sugared snickerdoodle, which I would definitely recommend. Frosted cranberry. Fresh balsam, of course. We have mahogany balsam as well. Mahogany teak wood is part of this. And also marshmallow fireside, some of the classics. We have hot cocoa and cream as well as champagne toast in some pink packaging. This is Tis the Season over here. And then we also have, I think I mentioned, did I mention holiday already? Snowflakes and citrus as well. This one is so good. And then my favorite, peppermint sugar cookie. Definitely recommend that. They also had these little mini gift sets that had the hand cream and pocket back together. Um, this was eucalyptus spearmint. It was $9.95 for that. And they also had this one with strawberry pound cake as well for little gift sets. So we're going to be seeing a lot of these gift sets, I think. And then this one as well had a soap and also a single wick candle. So just easy gifts that you can do. This was going for $19.95 for that kit. It was in in the fresh balsam for the soap and candle in that one. I don't think there was any other scents so far. And then they also had this cute little candle holder available, the only Christmas one so far. That one was 15 95 and then we had these big um hand sanitizers we have winter candy apple for 550 and they had the vanilla bean noel so far hopefully we see even more of these and then i wanted to share that this store had a bunch of pure wonder in the mini sizes so you could probably find this at your stores if you are wanting it and um they also had this little sunshine mimosa kit too that had the hand cream and sanitizer so we're seeing these in a lot of the classics and then i checked over in the wallflowers they only had one christmas wallflower plug so far which which was this like Santa getting stuck in the chimney. So I wanted to share that as well. Now I'm going to share this little haul slash review that I have for you. Let's start with this body care collection. I'm not sure what this is called, but it, there's like a love, joy, peace, hope kind of thing going on here. And I was able to get these mists a little bit early thanks to my lovely sales associate at my store. These should be coming out, I think next week, Monday. So not this coming one, but the next one, like the 23rd or 24th, something like that is when that floor set is taking place. But I wanted to go ahead and grab these a little bit early so I could share my thoughts on these. This first scent is called Love. I heard that this line is also going to be in candle form, so you should be able to find these scents in candles too. And I was so excited about this one the most because it is called Cotton Candy Champagne. That is what the packaging looks like. I'll go ahead and read the fragrance notes on this one. It says bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. This whole line is very sugary, kind of I don't know, fruity dessert kind of feeling in my opinion. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and buy this one early because I love gourmand scents. Those are my thing. I love anything food related. So this one is definitely my favorite out of the whole collection. I think it's a gorgeous scent. I'll go ahead and spray some again. But immediately when I smelled this, it reminded me almost of Aquilina Pink Sugar. 
it has a little bit of that vibe to it. It's almost like a very sweet sugary scent, but it has almost this deepness in the background that makes it really beautiful. Also, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to know if this is similar to Champagne Sprinkles. So I did grab my Champagne Sprinkles. If you guys know, you know this scent is amazing. It's one of my top, top favorite Bath & Body Works scents. I do think there is a similarity here. I'm looking at the notes and they don't have like the same notes at all, but I definitely feel like it is a similar scent for sure. But Champagne Sprinkles has almost like this cakey aspect to it. It's almost more bright, kind of more daytime, and I would think of this as like the nighttime version, like the dark, sexier version. But they do have kind of that same champagne and berries kind of background that makes them smell a little similar, but they're definitely different enough in my opinion. So if you guys love champagne sprinkles, you'll definitely want to get the new uh, cotton candy champagne. Also, if you guys love pink sugar, you guys will love this scent. So that one is my favorite. All right, next one in the collection, this one is Hope, and this is Winter Peach Marshmallow. How pretty. The notes are Velvet Peach, Vanilla Meringue, and Creamy Jasmine. I was so excited for this one as well because peach is one of my favorite fruits, and this one does smell, if you guys remember that, it was like an apricot meringue or peach meringue candle a while back. That's what this smells like, but unfortunately, the spray is so, so light on this, I can barely smell it on my skin. I've tried it a few times, I've tried layering it with like a base lotion that didn't really have a scent at all, and it's just not staying. So I'm gonna have to see how this is with like the body cream. Most of the time I can get a stronger scent throw by layering, but it smells so good, but it's just, it's too light. I just know I'm not gonna wear it because you can barely smell it, but it's a gorgeous like peaches and cream type of scent. It's so good. Very delicious smelling. So I don't know. Hopefully the lotion is better or the body cream and hopefully it'll be stronger layered, but <sighs> I'm just really disappointed that it didn't have a stronger throw. Next scent we have here, this is the Peace Iced Raspberry Bellini. This one I would say is one of the strongest ones in this collection if you guys want very strong scent power. This one and the Cotton Candy Champagne, very strong. The notes are Chilled Prosecco, Sparkling Raspberry, and Citrus Twist. This has a very powerful um, fizzy note to it. Um, I think it was Sense Galore. She said it smelled like Peach Bellini and I feel like this one totally does. I don't know, has Peach Bellini been in body care? I'm just thinking of the candle because that's exactly what it reminds me of is the Peach Bellini candle. It's not the same as like Champagne Toast but it has the similar aspects to it because it does smell like a very fizzy drink. It's almost like sour. Like you know when you like to eat something sour you imagine something sour and like just feel it in your mouth. That's what this gives me. It's like almost sour smelling. It's not my favorite. I'm not a huge fan of like super fruity fizzy stuff, but if you guys do like that, I think you will like the iced raspberry Bellini. But yeah, it's definitely like a Bellini scent, but it does remind me of peach Bellini candle. And then lastly, this one I was really looking forward to as well, but I feel like Bath & Body Works loves to do this like repackage over and over. I don't know if it's an exact repackage, but it's definitely similar to the Confetti Cake Pop Coconut Cream Pie Scents. It has very similar vibes. The notes on this one are Snickerdoodle Spice, Creamy Vanilla, and Sugared Musk. I was really excited for this because uh, the Snickerdoodle candle is one of my all-time favorites. It's like, it ranked number one in my ranking last year of my Christmas candles. I just love it. But this is missing completely, like, the snickerdoodle spice. <laughs> like, why do I smell coconut? I don't know. Maybe that's the musk that's in the background, but it reminds me so much of coconut cream pie and confetti cake pop. I feel like these are all three so similar. Um, also, what else is in that bunch? Merry Cookie. Uh, I can't remember the other cookie one that came out for Christmas, but it's coming back and I can't think of the name, but these all smell very similar to me. Um, I don't know. I don't get much difference with this one. I'm totally missing the snickerdoodle spice and I'm getting coconut. So that's why it reminds me of coconut cream pie, but I think that coconut cream pie is stronger um, and a better scent in general. So I don't know, 
you guys. I'm kind of sad about that one. I just don't feel like it's unique enough. I feel like I was very excited for this new collection and I'm just feeling a little bit kind of blah about it. I definitely think um, the cotton candy champagne is definitely my favorite, the love. Um, but the other three are just kind of meh to me. I don't know. I'm kind of sad about that. But, I mean, I'm still, I want to try them in the body cream, see if that makes a difference, uh, and try them out again. But that's kind of my first impressions of these new scents. Right, I did end up getting a couple hand sanitizers because my store had some available. I picked up the Vanilla Bean Noel full-size hand sanitizer for $5.50. I just had to have this. I love these big ones for, like, sitting on my computer desk. They also came out this year with the Peppermint Sugar Cookie Hand Sanitizer. I love the candle of this, so I'm really excited about the hand sanitizer in this one it's kind of similar to like pe peppermint marshmallow it's like a very sweet peppermint so good you guys we also have the ice cinnamon rolls if you guys remember this soap it's kind of like an orange roll like not like pure true cinnamon rolls it's definitely like the orange Pillsbury orange rolls is what it smells like it has like an orange zest to it so I picked that one up and I was so excited they have in the stars in a pocket back now in the stars is one of my favorite Bath and Byrick scents so I had to snag that as well I saw in the stars is getting brand new packaging for Christmas I hope they come out with the candle again. Um, they haven't had that for a couple of years, but that one was a really good candle. So maybe we'll see it in a candle. Maybe not. Probably not, honestly. But I'm really excited about the new redesign of their packaging. So that is everything I have to haul. Let me kind of scoot over and I want to share with you some new scents that are coming out for Christmas. And also some classics. Okay, so I think I'm just going to go over the body care because there is a lot of candles. Maybe I'll just mention a couple candles I'm excited about. But I do want to share all the body care that is coming for the holidays. So I'm going to go through these fairly quickly. I'll just kind of read whatever notes I have. All of this information is on Life Inside the Page Daily Finds. That is her Instagram. But she also has a blog. And she kind of gives all this information to the public, which I love. It's usually always 100% correct. There's sometimes things here and there that don't end up coming out in body care that may be said but for the most part this is probably true of course for Christmas one floor set we have pure wonder I did a whole video on that last week that Bath and Body Works had gifted me we also have a new gingham scent coming out I saw someone post this the other day of a picture of it and it's called gingham heart of gold and it's actually having like totally different notes. Let me see if I can pull it up. Okay, Sense Galore actually posted it. I'll throw up a picture here, but Gingham Heart of Gold, the packaging, kind of boring, but the notes sound really good. It has notes of crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. That sounds amazing. I don't really like gingham at all, so this is definitely more of a cozy scent. It doesn't seem like gingham whatsoever because I feel like gingham's kind of fresh floral, and this one just seems like it's going to be a gorgeous scent for the winter time, so I definitely am curious about smelling that one, but I'm curious how they can still call it gingham because those notes are like completely different. We also have coming out in the Alpine Body Care Collection, there's going to be Frosted Coconut Snowball Back in Body Care. There's a new Fireside Flurries coming out, which I'm so curious about. Hoping it's not too similar to Bonfire Bash, because Fireside Flurries kind of seems like it could be similar to Bonfire Bash, and I hope it's not, like, too much of the same. Here we have some notes posted by Life Inside the Page Daily Finds. On Fireside Flurries, it says the notes are toasted marshmallow, pink lavender, and cashmere wood. So, that lavender can definitely kind of change it up a bit. I wonder if it'll be similar. They had a lavender kind of marshmallowy scent, um, I think in 2020 that was pretty good. I can't remember the name of it. So maybe it'll be similar to that, but it does sound like something I would really like. We're also getting a Twinkling Midnight Sky. I don't have scent notes for that one. Twisted Peppermint is coming back, of course. Fresh Sparkling Snow is going to come back, and then we have Sleigh Ride and Snuggles. <laughs> that one sounds like it's going to be really cozy as well. I cannot wait to see what these scents are like. Next, we have the Joy to the World Body Care Collection. That's actually what I showed you guys. So this is the Joy to the World Collection. 
we already kind of went over all the scents there so we'll skip that we have the happy christmas body care collection and um this is their holiday traditions basically which of course has twisted peppermint winter candy apple vanilla bean noel and Christmas cookies is now in the tradition. So it looks like maybe we'll be seeing Christmas cookies every year now, which is nice. Um, but I do feel like Christmas cookies is very similar to these guys, in my opinion. But I'm definitely going to pick it up again and, like, see what the difference is. I remember that came out, like three years ago for the first time and I was really excited about it but now all of like the cookie and cake scents all kind of smell like that but I'm really excited to see it back so I can actually get my hands on it again because I didn't buy it last year. We also have the Christmas faceted collection so they are doing another faceted collection which just means they have like um, the plain bottles with a solid color and like the like fun like jeweled it almost looks like a jeweled packaging. They're having Winter Berry Wonder back. Snowflakes and Cashmere is back. I'm so excited about that because I need to pick up a mist. Last year, I wasn't really into it that much and I only got a lotion, so I need more of it. And Magic in the Air is coming back as well. I actually snagged that one at the last SAS um, in the mist, so I definitely need a body cream in that one. We have Men's Body Care coming out. We have Men's Noir, which is a returning favorite, and Men's Whiskey Reserve, which is new. We have Aromatherapy coming out as well. Um, I guess we can go over Christmas 2. So that's Christmas 1. All that stuff should be out by November 1st. But let me share what's coming in Christmas 2. I'm just going to go over these pretty fast because I don't have notes on these. But there's going to be Vanilla Mocha Cream, which I'm curious if that's going to be a repackage of Vanilla Mocha Cafe that we saw a couple years back for fall. We also have a whipped rose latte body care, which sounds really good. I love anything that is kind of sweet rose scented. Rose and bakery, I love it. We had a rose meringue a few years ago, which was really good. So I'm wondering how that's going to be. We also have a cozy Sunday morning, which apparently they had this scent in October 2015, which is crazy. It says it has chamomile tea, fresh bergamot, and soft cotton. If it is the same, we don't know yet if it's the same one. And then it says for Black Friday, we're going to see a thousand Christmas wishes again and also Forever Red is going to be back. I hope they do the perfume. That would make me really happy. So I think that's a little bit of the sneak peeks I'm going to share for now. I'm really excited to see what all these body care things are like. Again, there's just like so much. I don't know if they're even coming out with even more than that. Hopefully that's it because that is a lot of body care and I don't want Want to have too many repackages but I would not be mad to see the lemon snowdrop scent come back or the Santa's a blueberry shortbread again anyways that's kind of it for this video I just wanted to do a fun little chatty Bath and Body Works holiday video share the sneak peeks of this body care let me know what you guys think are you gonna be picking this collection up Again, I'm I'm excited about a couple of the scents, but I'm just 